Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for To Your Eternity, Chapter 140.5. Uh, when we last left our heroes, uh, Fushi had bumped into Tonari, and they kind of had this, had this discussion where Tonari ended up apologizing for getting on to Fushi for using uh, Upa, Mia, and Roy's forms in his kind of bonding with Mizuha. Um, she also, uh, importantly, expressed uh, a desire to have Fushi to be able to help Fushi, and Fushi turned away, because that's Fushi's fatal flaw of this arc. Um, that then led to a conversation with Bon, uh, where he asked Bon if, uh, where Fushi asked Bon, a conversation with Fushi and Bon, where Fushi asked Bon, um, if the knockers were bad. Uh, kind of giving all agency over to Bon there, and Bon was like, yeah, of course they're bad. And also he said something about having how everyone has to shoulder their burden on their own, which to me looked very much like Fushi was kind of internalizing that to further strengthen his argument that he should leave his friends out of uh, the knocker drama. Uh, but anyway, um, Izumi, or the knocker inside Izumi, found Mizuha uh, in, the, in the, the tunnel um, and went to comfort her when Fushi showed up to kill Izumi's knocker. And that's where we left off. So let's jump right on into chapter 140.5. Uh, we start right where we left off with Fushi kind of, you know, sword drawn approaching uh, Izumi and Mizuha. Uh, and Izumi, I'm just going to call her Izumi rather than the knocker inside Izumi because that gets too wordy. Um, anyway, Izumi tells, tells Mizuha, get up Mizuha. Huh? Uh, and Mizuha kind of eyes the sword point. It's sort, sort of like resting uh, in the puddle, in the rain. Uh, and she looks, you know, kind of kind of scared at the fact that Bushi is, like, approaching her mother with the sword. <laughs> um, and then Fushi kind of points the sword at them uh, and tells Izumi, if you don't get away from her, I'll cut you both. Uh, and Mizuha's kind of panicking now. Fushi, why? Uh, and we get our, our cover page, Chapter 140, Acting Human Part 2. Uh, as Izumi kind of covers, covers Mizuha. Uh, definitely trying to, at the very least, act like the protective mother that Mizuha's always wanted. Um, but her actual genuine emotions are kind of, kind of unknown. Uh, and there's a sort of sadness to Fushi's face as he watches this. Maybe, you know, positing the same things that I was getting at, that, that this is what Mizuha's always wanted, and he kind of has to take it away because the knockers are the knockers. Uh, and Fushi just starts, yeah, you, I'm about to free that body from your clutches. Uh, and Mizuha's just kind of shocked. What are you saying, Fushi? Get out of the way, Mizuha. I can't attack her with you there. Uh, and, Iz and Izumi calls back to her, run, Mizuha, while well, you can. Uh, and Mizuha just like grabs onto her. No, I can never leave you behind, mama. Uh, and Fushi, despite what Fushi kind of said on page one about cutting them both, he kind of clearly realizes that he just can't do it and tosses the sword away uh, and starts talking to the knocker uh, directly. Knocker, do you have any last words to say with that borrowed mouth? Now's the time. Uh, and Izumi and Fushi just kind of stare at each other. Um, and I'm trying to tell who's... I think that's... Is that Izumi's leg? Uh, where we feel that pain coming from? I think so, yeah. Cause it was, for some reason, I initially thought it was Fushi, but Fushi has, like, the furred, uh, boots, uh, I guess they are, uh, and Mizaha looks to be in a skirt, uh, and those are, those are pants, so I think that's, that's Izumi's leg, uh, and, yeah, because we see Izumi wincing on the next panel. What's wrong, Mama? No, nothing. Uh, oh, it, that's, that was Fushi's attack. I sent roots into her body through her feet. Most of the roots in the ground are ones I made in the past. I can control them whenever I want. You can't escape them. Oh, so th these are like, th those are some of the roots he separated from after his kind of five or six hundred years knocker hunting. Okay. Uh, there. They spread throughout your entire body. And we see the roots of kind of like almost breaking through the skin um, of, of Izumi. As he's kind of like, you know, body clenched in, in horror. Now if I release molten metal from them, I can burn everything inside you. Uh, and Mizuha's starting to panic now. Don't do it! Please! Don't kill her! Uh, and Fushi kind of looks at her sadly, um, and materializes like a vine on a 
around uh, Mizaha's uh, ankle and trips her. Uh, simple, simple solution to getting rid of her. Uh, but Mizaha looks up at him, you know, pain-stricken. What's wrong with you, Fushi? She's my mother! Uh, and Fushi shoots her down. This isn't your mother. Your mother is wandering the earth, unable to pass on because she's worried about you. Uh, and Izumi, uh, the Izumi knocker, I'll actually, uh, change to, uh, speaks. Mizaha, that's enough. It doesn't hurt at all, so it's fine. But we see, we see, importantly, all the little flashes of pain all around her. You go home without me and eat your stew. Papa is waiting for you. Uh, and, um, uh, Mizaha looks up at her. Mama, I'm really kind of intrigued, um... The way that Fushi is distinctly being framed as incredibly villainous here. You know, he's kind of approaching Izumi in a moment of compassion, sword drawn. Uh, and while he doesn't go through with the sword, the method he chooses is both incredibly one-sided. There's nothing Izumi can really do to fight it. And incredibly painful to release molten metal from the roots that are covering her body while she's clearly in pain. I've expressed some discomfort lately, like I kind of said in the past, um, and the way that the series is almost kind of, in the way that I, I was momentarily unsure what side the series was on in this conflict, that it might be, that like, it didn't seem anti-killing suicidal people enough. Um, um, but then last chapter, the last couple of chapters have kind of, kind of assuaged that a good bit. But this chapter here, with Fushi being framed as, as, if not in the wrong, and definitely a kind of villain-esque role, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what exactly Oima is, is what, her, what their theme is with this whole arc, what exactly they're saying, their message. Mm. Mm. Anyway, uh, Mizaha is looking up at her mom in terror, uh, and Fushi asks, why don't you fight me? You, her... You should at least be able to fight using your knocker strength. Do you want Mizaha to see what it looks like when a person burns? No. I don't even know which of you is talking now, so it's probably a waste of time to even think about it. It's all fake anyway. Your current mother, the current you, emptying that vessel filled with lies is the only thing I can do to set things right. Um, okay. So here's a line I'm kind of looking at now. Um... I don't even know which of you is talking now. Is that to... to Because do you want Mizaha to see what it looks like when a person burns? I think is to Izumi? Unless he's talking to the Guardian Knocker. Because the next line, I don't know which of you is talking now. The only person with two personalities in them in this scene is, Miz, is Mizaha with her and the Guardian Knocker. Um, so I think that line is directed towards... Mizuha, right? Um, especially because your current mother, the current you. Yeah. So I guess that that what it looks like when a person burns um, is referring to, to the knocker. Um, asking the knocker to take control of Mizuha so she doesn't see it, I guess. Uh, anyway, emptying that vessel filled with lies is the only thing I can do to set things right. It's going to be hot, so just bear with it. I'll put her out of her misery quickly. Uh, and we see the ground kind of light up at Izumi's feet. Her face kind of contorted in terror as Mizaha just watches. And she calls again, Wait! Stop! Please! I need Mama! Accept it, Fushi! Please! She's the reason I was able to see the bright side of things! Uh, and Fushi kind of looks down at her. You're choosing the fake? My new Mama doesn't treat me like a trophy! So now we're kind of getting a, at what I was sort of, what I recall getting at in at least my last video, maybe the one before, um, in that, like, Izumi was kind of a bad mom. Um, and so there is, there is a sort of, 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 this is a better, like, like the, the Izumi question of, you know, is, is Mizuha, at the very least, better off with the new Izumi that's a better moral quandary than are the knockers right in killing suicidal people because that just fucking sucks. That's just dumb. Uh, no, they're not right. They're in the wrong there because you can't just kill suicidal people. Um, 
And like, like to, if I'm if I'm taking a step back and not being in the moment, I don't think that Oima is going to say in the end the knockers are right to kill suicidal people because holy hell, that's a bad take. Um, but even playing with the idea, like it's such an obviously bad take that even playing with the idea is kind of kind of eh. Um, but this here, let's focus on the, on the thing actual actually in front of me. Uh, this here is much better than that. Um, like, Izumi, as we saw at the beginning of the New World arc, was just a shitty mother. Um, and so, of course, Misaha is much more attached to the knocker than she was to her real mom. Anyway, let's just kind of go on. Uh, she, uh, my new mama doesn't treat me like a trophy. Also, the, the use there of new implies that Misaha's either just realized and accepted that this this is a different person than her old mother, or she already knew the whole time and she didn't care because she likes the new Izumi, Izumi more. Anyway, she doesn't make me, make me try everything she can think of. She doesn't pressure me or make scary faces. She doesn't use my time for herself. She had the power to change my life of suffering. I made friends. Every day was so happy. Can you tell me which one was more fit to be a mother? If you're worried about me, then don't hurt the ones important to me. And she just lays her heart out. Um, and Izumi comes up to her and hugs her. You've done more than enough, Mizaha. Thank you. I love you. Uh, and Fushi just watches. Um, as I'm trying to get a read on what's going on in that panel at the bottom of page 10. Um, it looks like Fushi just sort of explodes her leg maybe or or i'm not quite sure oh no i think he has his roots extend from her foot kind of exploding the foot i think is what's going on there um and and she like falls to the ground like a flump uh and mizaha calls mama 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 um and izumi kind of comes to consciousness um and tells, tells uh, uh, Mizaha, I'm all right, Mizaha. Mama, you are? Uh, and then we see the vines kind of leave Mizaha's foot. I kind of forgot she was sort of, sort of bound there. And Fushi walks away, and Mizaha calls, Fushi? Fushi? And we see Mizaha. I want to get a closer look at this grin. Uh, it's a little unsettling. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, like, it, I imagine it has to be genuine. Everything we've seen from, from Mizaha this chapter implies that it's genuine. But it's a little, a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. Fushi, thank you for understanding how important she is to me. And Fushi just walks away silently as someone else approaches. I'm not quite sure who that... Oh! It's the ghost of, of Izumi. Crying as she watches. Uh, and, and Bon has arrived with her. I think Bon was trying to find her, right? So I guess he succeeded now. Um, uh, and Bon just tells him, Fushi. And Fushi looks up at him. I couldn't kill her. And Bon looks at him and kind of nods. Yes, that's fine. And that's where the chapter ends. Okay. Um, so, so... While I look at the Mizuha, the ab about the question of the Izumi knocker, I think I'm going to deliberately divorce it from the question of the knockers at large, at least for now, until the series kind of kind of comes together on that point a little more, because it really hasn't quite done that yet. Um, like 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 I kind of kind of been saying on video, the the moral disparity between you know killing suicidal people and and um, um, being a decent mother for once are it's just so vast. It's hard to kind of fathom them being related to the same problem, but they are. And I really want to know how Oima plans to kind of connect these two threads. Um, um, also, I guess thing is Izumi was suicidal. Um, when when the guardian knocker killed her or either that or she just or the guardian knocker took an exception because she just didn't she cared more about misaha than she did izumi um maybe again lots of questions lots of questions going on with the knockers um 
But anyway, uh, this chapter, like, like I've said, there, there's a distinctive sense of Fushi as kind of an antagonistic figure here. You know, Mizuha and Izumi are defenseless, and he just attacks them. And Mizuha, or Izumi does not strike back. She is more than happy to sort of sit there and die. I'm curious if that's, like, meant to be a test for Fushi. You know? Like, maybe, maybe that's the connecting thread between what the knockers are saying about killing suicidal people and Izumi. Because... By by treating the by the guardian knocker being the one to tell us that they are the same, right? By the guardian knocker telling us that they are the same. Hold on, why why I'm piecing this out in in like real time. Um, sh they're setting they're setting Fushi to see Izumi as kind of a test run for the knockers, right? He can't kill Izumi. Maybe he can't kill the knockers at all. Um. I hope I'm making sense here, because I feel like I'm only half making sense, but I've only half thought this out. Um, 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 okay. Uh, he can't kill the knockers. If he can't, and so that way, by sparing Izumi, maybe the guardian knocker wants that example to stop Fushi from killing the other knockers. Bon, I think, has a bit more of a mature uh, view here. Because last chapter, we just had Bon be like, yeah, the knockers are evil, you have to kill them. But here he says that's fine, that he couldn't kill, that Fushi couldn't kill Izumi. And I think that's deliberate. I think that's, you know, Bon being like, yeah, that's an, that this, th this one time it's alright. Um, you know, maybe things are better this way. I mean, Izumi was a bad mom, and I don't want to pity her too much, but... I don't know. Um, Izumi, like, like both Izumi and Mimori, and Mimori did not want to, to come back to life. Um, which is kind of the question I'm getting at here. Is it right to, to like, since it wasn't right for, to, to, to let Mimori just die, can we really say that it's right to let Izumi just die? But Izumi is an adult with more, like, rational thinking capabilities than a four-year-old does, or a six-year-old, I think, Mimori was. I forgot how old she was. Um, I hope I'm making any fucking sense right now. I'm really just sort of a stream of consciousness in y'all, and I apologize for that. But I think I'm getting, to, I'm thinking I'm getting close to what Oima is sort of getting at thematically with this whole arc. Uh, but it's very bits and pieces. Probably by next week I'll have, like, something of a, something of a coherent thought on the theme of this part of the arc. Maybe. I hope. Who fucking knows at this point? Um, anyway. Anyway. I'm curious. My, my thing is I'm curious what's going to happen with Izumi. That's my, that's my point, I think. Because um, the whole thing during the Memori arc was that Memori wanted to just kind of pass on. And everyone was like, no, that's dumb. You have to kind of live. Uh, which was kind of what, what Bon got at last time. Um, everyone has to, has to shoulder their burden. Um, but Izumi here, Bon is kind of saying it's fine that, that Izumi is gone. And, I mean, I'm curious to say what, I'm curious to, to see what Oima will kind of leave as the difference between the two. If it's just that Izumi is an adult and can make her own decisions, um, which I mean is still kind of, like tying that into suicide... It's a lot. It's a lot Oima is starting here. And I'm... Maybe I should just, like, step back for now. And see... See what will be done. Um... But yeah, the Izumi... The Izumi conundrum is really complex and fascinating. And... I mean, it's left me with this much to talk about. <laughs> uh... And... And it's... I just want to see where it all... Where it all goes. Um... I'm really curious to see uh and really excited to see so i think i might leave this video off here i think i've run out of things to say and i'm just sort of rambling so i'm gonna let y'all go um hope y'all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself if you did feel free to drop me a like or subscribe you know do whatever makes it happy you know and remember your life is your own okay bye